Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 164. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, I ran upstairs and I'm out of breath. So I'm going to be breathing a little bit heavy right now. <laughs> when I returned to the Western Empire, Henry was overjoyed to see me. I calmed him down and recounted my experiences in Wilbur. Oh my god, he's like a doggo with tails wagging. My queen! The dean refused to help. I thought of making a second visit, but the affront was too great. You would never torment others with these lovely hands. Oh, she kissed his hands? I trust that you are not responsible for the suffering of people like Evely. Uh, my queen. How did it go with the king of White Mond? Oh, he agreed to let us use their port again, but he want us to sign a treaty ensuring we will not invade them over the usage of the port. <sighs> and get it ratified by the Wool Union. Does it permit them to counterattack if threatened? Yes. It seems too broad. Does it have clauses that state that the treaty is not in effect when we are not using their port? Not so we can wage war, but so we can respond to any provocation. Provocation? But, including that clause could lead to pushback, and they might question if we intend to invade when the treaty is not in effect. What are you planning... what are you planning to do? I think we should just agree without causing a fuss, but I'll give it more some more thought. <sighs> I see. I'll speak to Grand Duke Kaufman about my magic. He completed the program at the Academy, so he might be able to help. <sighs> oh, why do you stand up all of a sudden? I missed you, my queen. I missed you too. I'm home. She found a place that she feels at, at ease and at home with. Henry? Did he move me here and leave thinking I'd wake up if I wake if he didn't? Uh, oh. I want to eat bread. Baked by him. Henry, are you here? The lighting's kind of bright, huh? He wasn't in the room, so he must be working. Uh, does he have a visitor? Should I come back later? T <gasps> the doorknobs is frozen. It's starting to freeze. Oh, oh dear. I think they realize something is amiss. The only thing that might be suspicious is that necklace. Send a crow to find out what's happening. And we're at risk of being caught because of that necklace. Retrieve it by any means necessary. Necklace? What necklace? It was too difficult to bring back. Destroy it. Thump, thump, thump. Ugh. Isn't this... Oh my gosh. Dun dun. Oh, she found out she... Just realize the truth, and what is he gonna do now? I mean, if you have this magical power, is he able to like erase her memories? Oh my gosh, okay. The Remarried Empress, episode 164. Don't trust Emperor Henry. Send a crow to find out what's happening. If we're at risk of being caught because of that necklace, retrieve it by any means necessary. Crow. Necklace. Caught. 
I should have just casually gone in and asked what he was talking about. Is it wrong to be suspicious based off a snippet of a conversation? But what if he really does have something to do with it? Then what am I to do? My queen, are you sleeping? Good night. It's natural, natural for an emperor to do things for the, for the benefit of his empire. So even if Henry made the Eastern Empire's mages powerless, I can't hold it against him. That much is true, yet, just as Henry loves the Western Empire, I love the Eastern Empire. Still, as, it, as its empress, I love the Western Empire just as much. Should the two empires compete for the same thing, I am prepared to support the Western Empire, just not to the point of crushing the Eastern Empire. Henry must feel the same. So he continued to seek out ways to harm the Eastern Empire despite knowing it's my homeland. While my mind understands this, my heart can't help but harbor resentment. So, I hope he's not behind it. I don't think we can count on Marquis Catron to help us. His wife is pat patronizing, prior prioritizing their children's future and blocking him from taking any action. Shouldn't we also make a swift decision on what to do? Whether that be getting revenge or switching sides. Hmm. Odds are the infertility rumors are a trap. She could e even be with child if she's bold enough to set something like that up. Pardon, but how can that be when Marquise Cajun was the first was the one who first spread the word rumors? It wouldn't be hard for someone who used to have the Eastern Empire under her thumb to twist such rumors to her favor. Even the Emperor is quiet, when he's usually quick to act in the matters involving the Empress. That suggests she's after something. Oh. Huh? What's going on? The gatekeepers firmly refuse to open the gates to the house. Lady Krista is unwilling to receive anyone. Huh. Even her family. Oh. I understand why, she'll, why she would avoid seeing me. She must be very angry. But to shun all visitors is out of character for someone so sociable. Huh. Well. What have you found out? All the entryways and exits to the house are blocked. All windows, save for those that are high up and small, are closed. Nobody can come in or out. There is only a small hole on the bottom of the main gates, and it appears only food was able to pass through here. That fiend has imprisoned my daughter? He pretended to care for her. Then he does this? I would not let the stand in for Henry. Okay. I need a moment to digest that. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys. I'm just... It's hard to breathe right now for me. Okay. I have to readjust stuff. Okay. So... Navier now unlocked another truth to Henry because we all know as readers there's no such thing as a perfectly goody two shoes I don't know what's the, what's the English word for it but a goody goody right there's no such thing as a goody goody there's always someone who acts good in front of you but behind they have they have skeletons in their closets right so we knew Henry can't be this wonderful knight in shining armor that came in like there the, there's something beneath it that we just did not know and don't understand we just don't know it yet so now we're actually unraveling it 
at the same time with Navier. And Navier's like, oh my. She's so, she's now in love with him that she's like, please don't let it be Henry that's that's doing all these evil, evil things. But even if he is, she also understands there's a reason why. You know, like he's not just doing it just to be spiteful. He's doing this to benefit his kingdom, right? Or his empire. So she's understanding, but at the same time, she feels that guilt inside of her because he's going against her homeland where she grew up. That's her place. And she kind of like had that icky feeling. So she's in a pickle, okay? And I'm kind of glad like she sees it both ways. And not just be like, oh, she's he's a horrible person. I'm not going to love him anymore, you know? But instead, she stood back and wager the pros and cons. Now, Krista. Krista's father is going to visit her and looks like she blocked out any visitors. Or Henry blocked out any sort of visitors to go into uh, see Krista. Maybe because he doesn't want her to receive any information about people in the Empire Kingdom. But who knows? I forgot. He did he did get um, Mastus, Lady Mastus, to come over there to do stuff. But we don't remember what. Anyways, the father is pissed off. And I wonder what he's going to do now. Alright, guys. I need to drink some water. I'm breathing too heavy, heavily. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!